hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to take a look at what is going on for you guys in terms of your situation with you and the person that is on your mind. This is a reading that is meant for the collective, so it's for a bunch of people. As always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. You can always take a look at your other placements. You may find some more messages there for you. Okay, let's take a look. What is going on for my Capricorns? Seven of Swords. You could have found something out recently. Something came to light. You received some information or news. Um, with the Seven of Swords here, I feel like some something sneaky was going on, and you're you've been trying to heal from this with a healing heart, healing from heartbreak or disappointment. For some of you, freeing yourself from a toxic relationship or addiction and I feel like you're starting to to move past this you're trying to make better choices moving forward there's something that you've learned that you're wanting to do things differently this time I see some changes going on with you guys something pivotal has happened um, with a four of wands this you could have had a fallout with someone i feel like you could have had a fallout with, with someone or somebody wasn't being completely honest when it comes to um a relationship or higher levels of commitment somebody wasn't telling the entire truth here and i feel like um this has come to light you found something out here some information that you you were needing but now I see you working a lot on yourself your self-love and your self-care and being happier like here you can see she's reflecting on herself you could be doing a lot of self uh, self-reflection here introspection looking back at things that have happened in your past wanting to make different different changes this time around somebody could have come back from your past here with the six of cups someone could have come back around or there's been um, a reconciliation but at the same time I feel like there's something that you're doing differently this time around with the ace of cups you also have new love or you have new potential in love a new opportunity a new offer that is being given to you, you have the chance here to explore things with a new person. And this could be, this new person, they may, it may feel like you've known them your entire life with that six of cups. It may feel like you've known them for a, a longer time than you really do. And six of cups can also indicate soulmates. So for those of you who will, aren't dealing with anyone I see somebody coming into your life someone new that could be a soulmate and for those of you dealing with somebody new I feel like there's a lot of potential here feelings are starting to grow things are starting to grow more than just friends or more than just dating I see right now you're you're focusing a lot on your self-love and being happier in general, having stability, being independent. So I feel like moving forward, you're putting yourself first. You're not, you're not moving forward with the intentions of always putting others before you. Now you come first. Now you're, you're taking the certain steps that you need to take to get rid of unhealthy patterns 
or unhealthy attachments from the past, from this Seven of Swords, you're cutting cords with that. Yeah, there's a turning point with that Eight of Cups. There's a turning point here. You could have said goodbye to someone. Or you could be thinking about it. I feel like you've learned that what you were receiving, it wasn't good for you or wasn't it bringing out the best, the best in you. So let's take a look at the person that's on your mind. King of Cups. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio here. In their energy, we have a coffee cup. Meeting and conversing. Savoring the moment. Feeling uplifted and friendship. I see this person wanting to have a meetup. A face-to-face -face conversation. Maybe even over coffee, literally, for some of you. But they're being really quiet right now. They're being very mysterious with that high priestess. And I see them... Um, holding back a secret. They're holding something. Some information from you. What is this information? Queen of Pentacles. It has to do with... It has to do with, with money. Their stability. But I feel like this person... Or for some of you, it has to do with another person, literally. Queen of Pentacles. But... For most of you, it's about money. This person wants to talk over this. So they want to have a face-to-face -face conversation here to talk about everything that's, that they've been keeping inside, everything that they've been keeping hidden, everything that they've been keeping a secret. I see them trying to follow their intuition here. This person is holding on to you. So they're still holding on to you. And I see them coming around, a visitation coming from this person. This could be someone from your past. If that's not the case, this is, this is someone new who, who, feels, who feels strong feelings for you and they're keeping it to themselves. They're being very quiet. They're observing you. They're in observation mode right now. Yeah, so page of one, it looks like this this is going to happen, most likely, a face-to-face -face conversation, page of wands, speaking in person. There's good news coming towards you here. Heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, and perfect. So I feel like you guys are getting together in your outcome here. There's communication, a text message, call or email. That leads to a face-to-face -face conversation here. It could also be coming from an Aries with this emperor. So I see I see someone, I see someone who's very mature, someone who's very stable, who's showing up in your outcome. I see there's a very strong attraction between you guys, a lot of sexual chemistry between you two. I see this person wants to court you. They want to take things more seriously here. With this emperor energy, it feels like it feels like they don't want to leave things to chance and they want to pursue you. So, there's good news coming here with that page of wands. It's very exciting, so it might even get your heart pumping. Let's see what spirit has to say. Page of Cups. The hangman. Okay, you may be at limbo with someone right now. Things are at limbo or things are feeling really slow or stuck or stagnant. But Spirit is saying this person is coming through. They're about to show up with a love offer, a love message. A lo I'm hearing a love bomb. They're just going to lay it all on you, how they've been feeling. So I see a proposal coming in here. And a message coming in. I see you guys getting together. And things are going to get a lot more 
exciting between you guys. I see you guys having fun together. So it feels like this conversation is going to go it's it's going to go the right way in the right direction here. With the hangman, I feel like you're unsure though right now because you're trying to make some changes. There's a decision that you're that you're needing to make here. Maybe you're wondering whether or not to reach out or if this person's going to reach out to you if they're going to come around. It looks like they will. Again, we have the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. So secrets are coming out. The secret is going to come out here. You're going to know exactly um, what, what's been going on. Confessions. But it looks like it's good news here. So don't get scared. <laughs> don't get scared, guys. It looks like it's, it's a good secret. So let's get some details here for you all. For Capricorn. I see somebody flirting. I see you flirting with somebody. In catching interest in someone who feels like this could be the one or things feel perfect in the outcome it feels like you two have a lot of chemistry the chemistry is there it could be with a mature man an older man there's a mature man here for you guys who wants to have a, a meeting I see right now you may be feeling down in the dumps right now or you're doing a lot of introspection a lot of reflecting a lot of thinking about your past or about things that have happened in your past here because there's something that you've learned and I see you wanting to make different choices, different decisions. There's a soulmate. I see you're dealing with a soulmate here, meeting the one, meeting the one. This person coming in is your soulmate. Mature woman. So... We have a mature man and a mature woman. You guys are the perfect match. Let's get a few more cards before I close off this reading for you guys. Is there anything else that we should know for Capricorn? I see like some, if somebody was childish before, I see a change. I see someone maturing because we're going from the page of cups. We're going from the page of cups to a king of cups. So we literally like just passed the knight of cups. So somebody's coming in like more mature. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life here. It feels like things in the past might have... The timing was off. The timing wasn't right for some of you. Yeah, in the past there wasn't enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Things were unrequited or unbalanced. Things were um, one-sided. It taught you to love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Or that was the whole reason, was to teach you how to put yourself first instead of others. You deserve love. You are lovable. You are lovable. I feel like things are going into alignment for you guys. So with that being said, this is your reading Capricorn. If it resonated or if you found some guidance or clarity in your situation, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so, so, so much for watching. Bye.